morning, everybody. It is me, your favorite dog, Ranger. I'm going to be taking you through my morning routine. It starts with staring at my mom and giving her some cuddles. She gives the best head scratches in the world. And then she says my favorite words. Let's go. Then my mom rolls out of bed very slowly, I might add, and then she takes me outside. I lead the way, of course, because I am the leader of this house. As I walk outside, I make sure to give you guys extra wiggle butts. Prepare yourselves, everybody, because we are heading out into my domain, my kingdom, the backyard. You know, there's nothing quite like a good pee after cuddling with your parents for 10 hours. My mom and me didn't sit outside for a little bit. Luckily, it's been raining a lot where we live, but luckily it's been really nice this morning. I then had to make sure everything on the couch was safe and secure for mom. And once I did that, I could relax and really, really soak up the sun. Now on to my favorite part of my morning routine, which is breakfast. I'll take it from here, Beans. We wanted to do something that was better for Ranger's health, so we switched him over to Farmer's Dog. Farmer's Dog uses real ingredients like meat and vegetables to create their dog food. They also personalize every single order, so it'll come with your dog's name on it. They are pre-portioned, so your dog is getting the exact right amount of food. And the best part about it is it's delivered right to your door. Ranger is obviously loving Farmer's Dog, as you can tell, so we will continue to feed it to him. If you guys want to get your first box for 50% off and free shipping, you can click the link in our description. I hear you be writing me a song. No, no, you're done. You're done. Can you please say it to me? <laughs> please. Gotta go. Bronson. I already have sent you this song, so it's not gonna be that good. Okay, well, I forgot it. Can you sing it to me again? I love you. I gotta go. Bye, I love you. Oh, make sure, hey. Love you, Beans! Kylie has to give Beans a haircut today. Ugh. And you guys want to see it, so. Why'd you say it on the vlog? Because now I have to do it. Okay, that's kind of cute. That's really cute. Ooh, it's a little, like, workout set. This was like my favorite one that I picked out. This is a little sleep set. Okay, I'm so excited about these. I feel like these are gonna be like the ultimate summer shorts. This is such a summer little top. It's just like has this little tie, a little bouncy white t-shirt. And this is exactly what this is. It's so soft and loose. It's not like a cotton feeling. It's like one of the I don't know this material, but it's like really soft and drapey. I got these specifically because they don't have a front seam and I hate front seams. Okay, this top, I thought this would be so cute for summer because it's just so girly and dainty and it's like this little right there. Dang, that is small. Okay, no, I had it crunched up. That should work. Okay, and then last two things. I got these from Show Me Your Moo Moo. I can't remember who I saw wearing them, but they were like, these shorts are great. And I'm like an Abercrombie shorts stan. So I was nervous, but I ordered two pairs just to see how they would work because they're very flared at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. So that's what I look for is like for the bottom to be very flared. I think I'm gonna like that pair better, but this pair is also pretty cute, but it has like this on the butt, which makes me think of like infant baby jean shorts. Like I'm like, Look, it's a good idea to like cinch your waist or whatever, but like, I don't know about this. Okay, I went ahead and tried this on and it is so cute. These shorts are so comfortable. I think literally everybody needs a pair of these shorts. They're so freaking comfortable. I got both of these in a small and I would say like they're very comfortable. Like they fit my waist and then they're like kind of like paper bag shorts where they like flow out. But I love them. They're so light and airy. And this top is very cute. I don't normally love like this style of top on me, but I do think it's really cute. You can like cinch these together more or you can wear them like more open if you like wanted more stomach. But overall, I think this is a very cute outfit, like a very summer, summery cute outfit. Okay, here's the next outfit. These pants were probably what I was like most excited about in the entire order. They're just like the windbreaker, like cargo pants, but I loved this color. So you can either wear them like this, I have them on the side where it's like completely like loose 
or you can kind of scrunch them up like this and make them like a balloon pant. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about. But they have a little drawstring down there. They're really cute. And then this is like how you tie is like just a little string. But I love this color. Like I think it's just so pretty. They also had like this baby, baby pink. But I got a small knees. I feel like they fit pretty good on the booty. They fit pretty good on the thighs. And then this is that little white tank that I was talking to you about. I didn't know it had this like little slit, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of like makes it a little bit different, but it really is like so soft. This shirt is so soft, but it could be a fun little throw over shirt for summer. Okay, sorry, I had to switch cameras. My camera died, but <laughs> overall, I really like this shirt. I got a small in it. I didn't size up or anything, and I feel like it fits really, really good. Um, these shorts, I don't necessarily love. They're like comfortable, but I ordered my normal size. I normally get a 27 in like pretty much all Abercrombie stuff, unless it's like the Curve Love, then I size down. But I just feel like I have like a whole extra inch over here and they're like really loose. So if I wanted to wear them as like looser shorts, but that's not really why I got them. I got them to be like cute summer shorts that were like more fitted, but I don't know. So if you do like these, I do like how they fit. It just, they're big. So maybe size down. I don't know. I'd have to try 26 and see if the 26 fit or if they just have like really weird sizing, but they are cute. I'll give them that. Okay. First off, this top, I love everything about it. Literally everything about it. I think this, the fact that this is like a square neckline is like so flattering and it has like the curves. I, I love this top. And then like the the contrast with the little poofy sleeves. Like, it's just it's so cute. I love this top. Got my normal size. I just got small. And I feel like it fits really good. If you do have bigger boobs, I would definitely size up. However, there are like three little adjuster buttons in the back. Like, almost like a bra. So, you can adjust that way. Just know that. So, these are the other Show Me Your Moo shorts. I just, I feel like they're really weird height. <laughs> like... I feel like they're so high and tall and it's just like honestly i will never get over like the little infant baby that the scrunchie i'll never get over that so i think both of these shorts are going to be a return for me i also still feel like these are a bit big um but these are better probably because they have the baby scrunch in the back but whatever it's a little sleep set it's very cute i honestly maybe would have sized up in the shorts like it comes as a set so i got a small but I really feel like that could have maybe sized up in the shorts a bit because they're a little short. But okay, and here's that black set. It's really cute and it's really comfortable. It's normally not the material I go for. Like I don't normally go for like the cottony material, but I actually really love this one. It's really stretchy. This bra is like my favorite thing of all time. Like it's just so simple. It's so simple. The leggings, I like a lot. I don't know if they'll necessarily be in like my top five pairs of leggings, but I do really like them. Like they're super comfortable. They're not like constricting on the waist and they have no front seam. So I really have no complaints about them. It's just like normally not the material I go for, but I'll let you know after I do a workout in them and then we'll see, we, then we can talk, okay? Okay, I know you guys probably wanna see like these bikinis and stuff on just to see how they fit. But if we're being honest, I am not truthfully like in the headspace to be able to like put on a bikini right now. I just am not feeling super great about my body, um, which I mean happens to the best of us. And I think like a lot of that has to do with like, I didn't work out for like over a month because we were wedding and honeymoon. And I'm definitely like, I'm giving myself grace in that aspect. I really am, but it doesn't make it any less like challenging to like look in the mirror and like not love what you see. Um, and I'm just like, obviously I'm, I've always been like really hard on myself. So I'm trying to like give myself grace, but I know that if I like put these on right now, I'm just like, it's gonna, it's gonna like not be fun for me. Yeah, I'm sure you'll see me wearing these at some point this summer, just not right now on camera. Yeah, I just feel like, obviously like we went to Italy, we had the time of our lives, I ate everything. I was not like watching what I ate what it, at all. I tried to work out literally one time, I did like a mini arm circuit. Like, and when I say mini, it was like two rounds like of an arm circuit. And so, yeah, that like, I don't know, working out is like a way that I, like I honestly, on our honeymoon, I like missed working out. Like I was like, I cannot wait to get home and get back in routine and just like get back to just being like productive. And I don't know, that's just how I like, I like feeling productive. I like feeling in a routine. Bronson and I realized like we're very much like homebodies. We like 
having structure to our lives like we couldn't be like world travelers forever and um so yeah anyways that's just how i'm feeling i know that i'll like get over it i just it's hard right now and um honestly for me when i get in these routines like it's really hard for me to go work out as well and i feel like it's like this never ending spiral um because it's like i don't like the way i look in active wear so i don't really want to go out and like work out and then it's just like this spiral and i'm really trying to like be gracious and just do what I can like going on a treadmill and just walking for 30 minutes is like a great way to like kind of kickstart that back into it I had a great like glute and hamstring lift the other day and I was like, okay, I feel good I didn't feel necessarily good about my body, but I like felt good about my routine And that's just like a way to kind of like get myself out of that like negative cycle Anyways, I'm just sharing this because like I know hard it is to like struggle with like not feeling good about your body like i literally deal with this all the time even when i'm in like the best shape of my life like i still can have those negative thoughts creep in um but like especially after taking a long break like it, it is really hard for me to like be kind to myself and like give myself grace but I'm trying and that's really all I can do. But speaking of working out, I am gonna go work out today. I'm gonna work out in our gym and I am trying to get back into like lifting. I'm also writing some healthies programs. <laughs> like I have probably like, I think we're gonna end up with three or four programs right from the start. Um, just like different types of programs. And I'm very excited. This is what Healthies has been needing for a really long time. We're also like restructuring the entire app. So there's like a huge update coming. Probably won't be done for like a few months, but I just finished all the screens and stuff and it looks so good. Like it looks getting much better at designing screens. I'm realizing like the old screens are like, they're good, but they like look like I designed them. Like these, you'd be like, Kylie designed that? And I'm gonna be like, yeah, baby, Kylie did design that. So anyways, like a big thing coming from health, for health. Oh, I can't speak for healthies. Okay, don't look at my armpits. I need to get them waxed so bad. So they're like hairy, but. Seriously, don't look. <laughs> I need to wash my face and honestly pluck my eyebrows. They're um, a bit wild. And then brush my teeth and then we'll go and work out. I just finished my YouTube video. I'm gonna post it. Yeah, baby. But I did want to share this really quickly. Bronson was texting in our group message with our friends and he was like, today's devotional is just like really good. I just wanted to share it. And I feel like it really hit home for me. So I wanted to share with you guys. It says, most of the things I've worried about didn't happen. Most of the things I hoped for did keep dreaming. And then it, it's followed by a Bible verse that's, that is Matthew 6, 25. It says, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? And then this is a devotional by Bob Goff and he's just, he's so good. And here's, here's what he writes about this. He says, we usually feel alone in our anxiety, but did you know that most of us worry about the same kinds of things? We worry about whether our kids are safe, we worry we're not very attractive. We worry we sounded bad when we spoke up in a meeting or that we won't make ends meet financially. The root of our anxiety may look a little different for each of us, but our hand wringing looks the same. Worry and distraction always travel together. We're worried, so we're distracted. And people who are distracted can't be present. How do we get back to being where our feet are? Most of the things we worry about don't actually happen. That's why Jesus told us not to worry about the future. He said to look at the flowers, how they're clothed with outfits kings could couldn't recreate if they tried. He pointed to birds in the sky and reminded his followers that birds don't earn money or save things in barns, yet God always provides them with something to eat. Jesus said to look at things that actually exist, not all the things that don't. God hasn't brought you this far to only forget your name. Jesus said we won't add anything to our lives by worrying. We'll
just miss seeing him at work. I thought that was really good. It was just like worrying about things of the future is just so pointless when you have like a God who is so big and just has so much better plans than you could ever have for your life. And just like worrying about the mundane, like the day to day, like things about like, I don't know, I was just telling you guys about how I was feeling about my body and my body image. I'm like, it's so small and like literally does not matter in the grand scheme of life. So I don't know, that was just encouraging to me. So I figured I'd share, but I am going to take some pre-workout. I may or may not be having a new powder flavor that we just got delivered yesterday. I am so excited. I'm debating. We got two flavors actually delivered yesterday and you know, I just can't choose. I can't choose. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but they're both so freaking good and I'm so excited. So anyways, time to work out. Is this a new powder flavor? It is seriously my new favorite. It's so, so freaking good. Look at these ingredients. It's colored with paprika. Only the good stuff, baby. Let me give you a quick little tour really quick. We ended up painting the walls like a matte black and then we did these horse mats. You can actually get these at, um, what's it called? Tractor supply. And then we just did tape to like keep them all together. The tape is kind of optional. Honestly, they're so heavy. They probably wouldn't move, but we just did the tape. This we actually ordered straight from Rogue. This machine is awesome. And honestly, I use it a lot more than I thought I would. Bronson, this was like his like must have item. The rack we actually found on Facebook Marketplace. And this was like such a steal. Like we got really lucky with this and the dumbbells. We found both of those things on Facebook Marketplace and we just got really, really lucky. We, we did have to buy the smaller dumbbells straight from Rogue because we wanted them to match. But we actually found like, I think like the bottom half or like over half of them on Facebook Marketplace and this rack. These med balls we found on Marketplace. So basically the only thing that's new in here is this and the cable machine, which we actually, this cable machine is a really good price on Amazon. And it's like, it's like a good amount of weight on both sides. It's just really cool. And then this was kind of what we splurged on because I wanted one of these treadmills that have like the tracks on them, like not the typical belt because like these break less and they're way more sturdy. And we have like some big guys that come over and like me and Paige like to do sprint workouts. So I was like, you know what? Let's invest in like a good treadmill. So this is the one we went with. And then we actually found our echo bike on Facebook marketplace as well. And this thing is so hard. <laughs> And then we have our little Pilates little section. It's like, I have some like Bala band stuff and then we have our mats and then we have our bands and just like everything hung up. We decided to do this little inlet with the wood accent as well. And I think it turned out really, really good. And then we also have the clock up there, which was like a nice little touch. I love the clock. I think it just feels more like real Jimmy in here. And so yeah. That's the gym. It's not like super crazy big, but it has everything that we need. And I'm just really loving like having a space to just like do whatever I want. So really, really thankful that like we were able to like create a space like this. And I don't know, it's really, it's really nice to have, especially now.
drinking some protein right after. I love these, these slate milks. They come in a bunch of different flavors, but chocolate or vanilla. They also have like coffee ones, which are really good, but they have 200 milligrams caffeine and like I already had pre workout I'm not gonna do that, but these are awesome. They're 20 grams of protein, 110 calories. So I just like chug those after my workout. We have a whole freaking fridge of them. Bronson literally bought like a whole month's worth. Yeah, so we have so many freaking slate milks, but they're kind of nice because I can just like down it, but I have to take all my vitamins. Ugh. I literally hate taking pills. Like I hate taking pills probably more than anything ever. Seriously, and I'm so bad at it. Also taking it with protein, like don't recommend, but like whatever. Blah. That is so gross. I need water too. I need water. I need water. <laughs> okay, so listen, I know you're not supposed to technically shave Aussies, but we've been doing it for years and Ranger just, he likes it. Like you can tell he like feels so much better. So I don't want to talk about it. I know it's technically wrong, but like it's not, it's not wrong. And he's our dog. You know what? And he likes it. He likes to have short hair. Okay, Mr. Sting, Mr. Sting, it is time for you to get the haircut that you love so much. Do do do, do do do. You're a good boy, huh? Okay, let's start with the booty. Y'all showered and cleaned up, okay? Let me out of here, Mom! I do not like this at all! Say, look, everybody! I'm a fresh and clean boy! I'm a fresh and clean boy, and I now have a good haircut! Yes, 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 you do! Okay, I'm in my self tanning suit. I put on a little bit of self tanner. Since I showered in the middle of the day, like such a weird thing, but I had to because I was uh, shaving rain dirt. Rain duh. Ranger, and uh, I just put on my little self tanning suit. This is from Abercrombie, the men's section. The self tanner I use is from Amazon. I'll link it in the description if you want it. But it's like very light, and it's not a foam. It's like a it's like a water. It's just super light. I just spray it on and I rub it in, and it looks super good. I you can't really tell to be honest, like that I self tanned, which I kind of like. But the next day it looks good. But like when I, you put it on, you're like, did I put enough on? I don't really know. But it turns out. Really good. Find your ball and bring it to me. You gotta find it. Okay guys, we also got a fire pit um, like last week and it's covered right now, obviously, but we love it. It fits so good in this space and it's so fun to just like sit around the fire, even though it's 100% summer and it's way too hot for a fire, but it doesn't get like that super hot, honestly, cause it's like a propane fire tank, but we love it. You find one? Can you find a ball? You have to find one. Our little buddy, he's back. Do you see the lizard? He literally lives back here and he's so cute. Look at him, he's so cute. Hi, okay, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. Carry on, carry on. Find it, find a ball. Go. I did not think the sweatsuit idea through when I came out here. Hot. Go. Right here. Bring it right here. Right here. Good boy. Okay, I need to do a little work for healthies. Um, I am working on those programs right now. I'm probably telling you way too early because it's literally gonna take so long to get the app where it needs to be in order to add programs. But that's why I have to start so early on them because I want to launch with like, I think like four different programs and it's just like a lot to write all those workouts and format those programs like in a way that's beneficial for what they're used for. But anyways, I wanna do like a build basics workout, which like kind of will look like the lift I did today, 
but less barbell movements, more like dumbbell movements. Cause I think like a basics program should be like more dumbbells. Cause dumbbells are just like less intimidating. Like barbells are a bit much for people who are just starting out. And then I'll also do like an advanced program for people who have been like lifting a while. And then I want to do a shred program. We'll kind of be formatted with a lot of like more hit workouts, a little bit of lifting and a lot of like running speed training workouts. And then the last category that I'm so excited about is I really wanna do um, like an athletic athlete program essentially. And that will have a lot of like banded speed work, explosive work, weight training, just like everything you would need as an athlete. That's the type of program that I want to create. I'm excited to like have that feeling of like training like an athlete back again. It should be really awesome. Like I'm really excited to have this aspect added to health healthies because I'm really excited. I just have to do that right now, but that's what I'm working on. Yeah, I'll probably do that until I'm ready to cook dinner, but I do need to run to the grocery store and grab some things, but I need to do this first, so. Okay, let's see what we have for dinner tonight. Dinner night. We have a few pieces of cod. We don't have much. I lied. <laughs> we were just out of town this weekend, so I haven't had time to go to the grocery store yet, but I might do a little quick Trader Joe's run. They have these really good, like, frozen veggie pre-made mixes. I need to get back into, like, actually, like, cooking real food, not frozen food, but that's for another day. Okay? Look how bare. Big. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get stuff for enchiladas. I make some bomb enchiladas and the, the enchilada sauce is usually like a basic enchilada sauce, but then you mix it with, it's either cottage cheese or plain, plain Greek yogurt, one of the two. It doesn't really matter. You could honestly probably do both. The, I think we did plain Greek yogurt last time for like an extra protein punch. But you could do the cottage cheese because the cheese would be good on enchiladas. Like that could be good if you like blended it all up. and. There's a quick little Trader Joe's haul. Starting off very strong, we got some flowers. These are like, what do they call them? Peony double tulips. And then I got all the ingredients for enchiladas. I'm gonna do half chicken and then half beef. So I just got lean ground beef and then I got free range chicken, organic, boneless breast strips. I feel like this will be the easiest to like shred like that. And then I got this enchilada sauce. I have no idea if it's good. I've never gotten this one before. And then I got some low fat cottage cheese because as I was thinking about it, I feel like cottage cheese is the move. Okay, and then I also saw these at Trader Joe's and I was like, wait, this would be so good to put into the meat. It's crunchy jalapeno and lime and onion. I don't know. I was like, that looks so good. So I got one of those. I'm going to dice up two Roma tomatoes and an onion to put in there just to sneak some veggies in there. These fire roasted red, red bell peppers. I don't know if I'll actually put these in the enchiladas, but they looked really yummy. Just, and then I don't know if I've had a single sip of water today other than pre-workout. So I got a water bottle and I need to drink it like now. That is so good. Woo! Wow, okay, it hit me later. Oh, my eyes. Wow, it's really spicy, but that is so yummy.
Rule number one when cooking, you must have a fancy beverage. So I'm having Zevia cream soda. These are like my favorite ever. Creamy root beer, definitely taking my top number one spot, but we don't have any of those, so. Cream soda it is. We have these like cute little ice cube molds and I tried to make like little balls. These are so stinking cute. Shut up. I was gonna say look at my little balls and then I stopped myself. <laughs> so I have my ground beef and I dumped half of those veggies in here. Mix that up. It's looking good. Then I'm gonna put the ground chicken in this one. Dude, blending up your cooked chicken is like the most amazing way to shred chicken. Like look at that, it's so fine. And for enchiladas, that's what we want. So now we have our two mixtures. Now we make the enchiladas. <coughs> Go. Okay, I'm preheating the oven to 375. Taste test time. I've never done this before, so. Pretty good. I don't love, I'm gonna put some seasoning in it. I don't love that enchilada sauce, to be honest with you. Mm, yeah, I'll do a little bit of garlic powder as well. Actually, no, where's the garlic salt? Oh, we don't have any left. Okay, I'm gonna do paprika, garlic salt, and then just a little bit of sea salt. And I think that should be good, because I think the cheese honestly made that enchilada sauce a little bit like bland. That's much better. Scrum Dilliamptious. I made mine with carb balanced tortillas and then I made the rest of these for Bronson and they looks really good, honestly. Okay, let's do a little taste test. This is the chicken one. I have one beef and one chicken, so. And I tried to do the macros on these and they ended up being, for both of these, around 400 calories, which for enchiladas, I feel like that's really good. Yeah, wow, okay. These are becoming a staple. These are so good. I'm very pleased. Yay! Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Paige just walked in the door. She's out back, so I'm gonna go hang out with them. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment below what you wanna see in my next vlogs, if there's anything in particular. Um, I'm just gonna be vlogging life, but I would love to talk about things that you guys actually like to hear about. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps. Anyways, if you guys try these enchiladas, please let me know because they are freaking bomb diggity. I'm like obsessed with these now. I just posted on my Instagram story and I was like, I'm back in my cooking era. And I think I am. Like this just, this just sparks something in me. So anyways, love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.